beautiful friends welcome back to another episode of Zoe's diary these are my vlog style videos on my channel and today I have a super fun one for you guys today we are going to organize and declutter my closet so I have actually been struggling a lot and I don't know if a lot of you guys can relate to this but for me mental clutter and physical clutter are one and the same so i've been quite busy i know sometimes people don't like to use that word but busy to me this is good busy i've been around the city working on a lot of different projects i just haven't been home so much and when i'm not home very often as i might like to be or i have a lot of things on my mind like i said this mental clutter my space tends to be a direct reflection of that. So my space, more specifically my closets, the one in my bedroom and the one right next to my front door are very cluttered. They seem to be a dropping ground and the system that I have in them just is not working for me. So today we are all going to declutter and organize that together. I went to Ikea last night and I picked up an organizational system called the Calyx, I believe, and some fabric boxes to stick inside of them. And I also picked up a little woven basket, which I'm going to use as well. These are all of the things I think that I need. And so I believe that it is time to get into it. <laughs> but first, that brings me to mentioning today's sponsor. So I wanna give a big thank you to Daniel Wellington for sponsoring this video. So Daniel Wellington is an incredible watch company. As you guys know, I do live a pretty minimal lifestyle and that includes my clothing. So like today, I just like to wear basic colors. I don't like to wear a lot of prints. And I would say my key fashion tip is just to pair it with a nice watch. This is a beautiful watch and this is the one I'm showing to you guys today. I'm specifically wearing the Iconic Link watch with a white face. And I also have this beautiful bracelet to pair with it as well. And for a limited time, it's actually engraved with I love you on the back of it for Valentine's Day. So if there's any of you out there, male or female, who have a significant other or someone special in your life that you would like to gift them a watch, Daniel Wellington has been kind enough to offer you all 15% off with the code DW underscore Zoe. And that's going to get you 15% off. As a Canadian, I want to mention to you guys that Daniel Wellington ships to Canada without any of these surprise shipping costs. <laughs> if you're like me and it's a lot easier for you sometimes to order things online, that's not something you have to worry about being a Canadian and ordering from Daniel Wellington. I am always so impressed with the quality of these watches and just how they look so elegant. Like you guys, I'm wearing like coveralls, I guess you could say, like a jumpsuit and a, just a plain white shirt. I just feel like I'm dressed up and put together today because I always appreciate just having a beautiful piece to look at. So there's a lot of watches to choose from on their website. Like I mentioned, both male and female watches. If you're looking for that luxurious quality piece to add to your wardrobe or to gift to a significant other, I definitely recommend taking advantage of the 15% off discount today. And I'll be leaving the link for that down below to check out. Now, you guys, it's definitely time to get organized and to declutter. I am looking so forward to getting this done because I know that I'm gonna feel so good once it is done. And disclaimer here, I haven't cleaned or tidied anything in the closet as much as I wanted to. I just felt like I'm gonna keep this real. You guys know that I have published a book on minimalism called The Joy of Minimalism, A Beginner's Guide to Happiness with Less. I am not a perfect minimalist. I implement some structures like a closet and I have systems that fail. But the great thing about the awareness that arises is that you can do something about it. Like I've recently just become aware that the, the systems that I have in both of my closets aren't working. So even though I've been suffering from some mental and physical clutter that's been going on, I'm gonna take action, I'm gonna change it today and we're gonna do that together. If you like this type of content, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below so I know and I'll share more with you guys. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. So as I mentioned, I got these fabric boxes which are called Drona and unfortunately this is upside down but this is the Calyx system. It's a four square cubby system and I also got this basket to organize things. Now I really thought about what I wanted before I went to Ikea and that's key especially if you are someone who plans to go to Ikea to get anything in particular because the marketplace and the showroom can be very, very, very distracting and can cause you to pick up things that you might not need. So number one pro tip is to download the Ikea app and choose what you want before you get there because I was in, in, I was in Ikea and out and at home within an hour and a half yesterday and I live on the other side of the city than Ikea is in Toronto anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna, like I said, vulnerably show you guys my closet. 
So this is my front door. My closet is right beside it. It's a little bit open now on either side, but these are sliding doors. As you can see, I have attempted to be organized, but if you look more so on the floor, this is my problem area. Opening up the other side of the closet, you can see this is where I keep all my coats. And before you're gonna judge me on how many there are, if you're Canadian, you know that we go through all different seasons, all different weather and sometimes four seasons one day, that's not something that's odd. So that's why there's a lot of clunkier, bigger coats and things in here. It's because I need them. I need a raincoat, I need a winter pea coat, I need a trench coat. There's a whole different weather here. We're not really talking about what I have today. We're talking about the mess that I have going on today. So as you can see, I've tried to keep some cleaning equipment in here. I'm not even gonna worry about trying to fit my vacuum in right now, but my plan is that this cubby system is gonna go in here and I'm gonna organize what's on the ground. So these are vinegars for cleaning. I got a really good deal on Amazon, so I bought two at once. This is a bag of scarves and, and hats and toques. This is a bag of bags. This is just some toilet paper and my roller blades. Complete and total chaos. So we are going to put together the calyx system i'm hoping it fits i did my best at measuring before i got them and we're gonna do the coat closet first then i will show you guys the disaster that it is, that is my bedroom closet as well so let's put these together i'm out of reasons i'm out of rhyme but i'll only tell you that i'm out of time I'm sick of love songs, I'm tired of this And I wanna tell you straight just like it is You're watching me like you want me But you're still holding back, still holding back Honestly, you're annoying me With the way that you keep playing Show me your love like it is, like it is And open my heart like you're fearless Steal all the gold you can get, you can get Show me your love and leave me breathless, breathless And voila! You are inside the shelf right now that I built. <laughs> See? <laughs> it, it worked. I did it. And it w went faster than I thought. So. Uh, that, that was nice because sometimes those instructions from Ikea you can look at them and be like well I sure hope this goes for the best um, So anyways, I guess next step is is for me to pull out everything on the floor in my closet and see if this will fit inside Okay, so successfully fit in now it's up to me to organize these shelves and I'm going to have to figure out what's gonna go where with this stuff. So bear with me for a minute. Okay, so I specifically bought two of these Dronas. These are the fabric boxes that I wanted to put in here. So I know for sure that, <laughs> grabbing my scissors, I know for sure that one of them is going to be for toques and mittens and I, wanted the other one to be for cleaning supplies. So right now in my bathroom, I have a small closet that is actually where I do my laundry. And in that small closet on the floor, I have my cleaning supplies, but they're very disorganized. And I wanted to be able to keep them in this closet in a more organized space so that I could properly shut the door <laughs> of that laundry closet all the time. So this is super easy to set up, very, very impressed this far. Yeah, fabric box, just like that. Awesome, I set that up while I was talking to you guys. And like I said, I got two of them. So I imagine I will put, I'm actually gonna put them on the top and I'll put my shoes on the bottom. I think that's a bit better. So I'll unpack this one and then I'll get the cleaning supplies and bring them out here. So as you can see, I had to slide the shelf over to be able to, to put in or pull out one of these boxes. So this one's actually going to have to go right here, which means that these two cubbies will be more for shoes. So 
So let's go get that cleaning supplies and fit it in. I'm out of field, but I guess I'm waiting around for something real. I'm going crazy, like what's the deal? Cause I want you to show me what you feel. You're watching me like you want me, but you're still holding transfer the hat, toque, and mitten bag into this top box here. And I'm honestly just going to put them in here for the video and I'll come back after and probably organize them a little bit more and see if there's anything that I can donate because there definitely is. But as I said, this is more of a decluttering organizational vlog. Not really a minimizing. There we go. Next up is I have a bag of reusable bags. I have a lot of reusable bags here. So I'm gonna go through and choose some to get rid of to donate. And then the rest of them I will put into one bag and put on this top shelf here. But for now for the shoes, I decided to take more summery dressy shoes because it's not the right season and put them down there. And in the winter time I'll replace and put my boots down there. There we go, my bag of bags in my IPEC coaching bag. I just wanted to show you, I tucked my steamer, my vacuum, and my broom back here in the corner. I'm gonna see if I can minimize some of this and put it in my bedroom closet, but we'll see when we get there. For now, very happy with the progress. Very happy I can shut this. And on this side, I have the shoes I'm wearing more regularly out here. And very happy to see that there it's clutter free looking into my closet and I can shut these so easily. And this ladies and gentlemen is my closet. The problem is on the ground. I like to keep my whiteboard in here. Also my filming light which is actually out there right now. My tripod and down here is where I keep my socks underwear belts and like bras and I thought that I could keep them in these little bins but it's just not big enough it's just not enough space thus that is the unedited clutter that is my bedroom right now and normally it's a lot cleaner this is the absolute worst that it's ever been but uh, that means that you know when things get real bad sometimes that rock bottom is when we start to make changes and uh, on the door here this is where I hang my house coats and my two purses I actually recently got this and it's a, a hanger right that hangs over the door but because I wanted to keep things white and minimal in my room I hung one of these on the inside of the closet rather than on the outside and I'm really happy with it but it's time now to go build the second one to put in here and I can't wait to see it even more organized you're watching me like you want me but you still hold and final one is complete. We are going to take this into my bedroom now and we are going to organize that closet of mine. Okay guys, it is all cleaned out and I vacuumed the floor. So we are going to put in the organization. Already so much nicer with those. I'm going to fill them up with all of that and we'll see how we go. Show me your love like it is, like it is. Then open my heart like you're fearless. Steal all the gold you can get, you can get. Okay, guys, so that was super satisfying. I still want to do a bit more organizing with the clothes. These are all seasons of clothes. As I mentioned, I live in Canada, so it's quite necessary. And I'm not one to put things away in storage. I know sometimes people put away for the seasons, but I do do a lot of traveling and I just like to be aware of what I have and it always keeps in mind what I can declutter. If I've say looked at a piece and thought, oh, you know what, I'm going to wear that in the winter time and I didn't wear it in the winter time, I'm just going to purge it as I go and vice versa if I think that I'm gonna wear something in the spring versus summer um, and summer comes and I didn't wear it in the spring, I'm just very conscious of what 
I'm keeping. And this little basket down here, so that's actually my clothing hamper. And I know some of you might think it's small, but um, I do do my laundry quite a bit. And I hand wash a lot of my pieces because more so now I've just decided to buy kind of more like higher quality things like blouses. And I just like to be very conscious and not let dirty laundry pile up. And I put my whiteboard on the side here. I'm going to have to slide in my ring light, but I think it's going to be okay. And this system is so far looking so much nicer than it was before. So like I said, I'm going to do some tidying up and color code things a little bit better here. And then I'll check in with you. Show me your love like it is, like it is. And open my heart like you're fearless. Steal all the gold you can get, you can get. Show me your love and leave me breathless, breathless Let me know what you think of my decluttering vlog. And if you like these types of videos, please give me a thumbs up so I know to make more of them. I had so much fun decluttering today and honestly, it's been so worth it. Like I, as I've been decluttering and organizing everything, I've just felt my mind clear away all of that mental clutter. And I have a bit more tidying up to do, which is why I'm ending the vlog now. But as you can see, the, the majority of it's done. It's just up for me to recycle the cardboard and I did create a bag of things that I'm going to donate so I feel really good about that. So it's been an overall productive decluttering day and I want to give a big thank you to Daniel Wellington again for sponsoring this video. Don't forget you guys you get 15% off with the code DW underscore Zoe. So take advantage of that and Surprise someone you love for Valentine's Day. Remember, there is I love you engraved in the bottom of here. And I love all of you guys. Thank you so much for watching and just supporting me. And I hope that you have the most wonderful, wonderful day. Bye. I'm out of reasons. I'm out of rhyme. But I'll only tell you that I'm out of time. I'm sick of love songs.